With the NBA play in tournament approaching next week and the playoffs right around the corner, it is time to start thinking about who is going to win the NBA Finals. And let's be honest, most people are going to be thinking the Brooklyn Nets will be a title favorite with the three stars in Irving, Durant, and Harden, or the Lakers with LeBron and Davis coming back just in time for playoffs. But you have to remember though, these two teams are absolutely plagued with injuries throughout this whole season and have been so unlucky in general, and this could carry on into the postseason. Basically, what I'm saying is, it is correct these are two major title favorites, but you guys should really watch out for the Clippers, since everyone has been sleeping on them, and here's my bold take of why the Clippers can make a deep run into the playoffs this year, and here's why. What's going on YouTube, it's your boy C3, back with a lit video, cause you know I only dropped the best content around here. Hope everyone out there is enjoying their week, and thanks for tuning in to the weekly video. Before we start it though, please consider hitting the like and subscribe button if you're still unsubscribed or new here since it takes me a while to edit these videos and as a result, every subscriber really helps out a lot, especially when we are so close to 1000. I appreciate it if you hit both buttons and other than that, let's get straight into today's video. Now you guys might be thinking that I must be crazy seeing that the Clippers have a legitimate chance of making a deep playoff run, especially with the Clippers playoff curse still going on where they've yet to make a Western Conference Finals appearance and this is a bold take by me but please just hear me out first before jumping straight into the comment section. After the Clippers embarrassingly blew a 3-1 lead last year to the Nuggets which were led by Murray and Jokic, the Clippers have really humbled down this year and have really not been arrogant. If you look back at last year's team, the Clippers players would talk a lot of trash in various places such as social media where Paul George and Beverly were talking trash to Lillard and McCollum during the bubble but all the players have been pretty humble now and have kept it quiet. They realize that they are not going to have an easy ride deep into the playoffs and have really been locked in where they just keep their heads down and play. The chemistry has really improved as well and with the departure of Montres Harrell to the Lakers in the offseason too, that has really helped their chemistry. According to numerous reports, George and Harrell never got along and in Game 7 against the Nuggets last year, they got in an extremely heated argument where they were blaming each other. As a result, this is the first major reason of how the Clippers are different to last year's team since their chemistry has improved and they have really been humble which are two important factors to a championship contender. The second reason why the Clippers are even better than last year is how deep the roster is now and let's start off with what additions they have made over the course of the season. In this 2021 season, the Clippers have added Nicholas Batum, Serge Ibaka, Rajon Rondo, DeMarcus Cousins, and Luke Kennard, who are the major names of the free agents that they added, but let's start off with the most important one in my opinion, which is Rajon Rondo. The Clippers have been searching for a point guard facilitator for so long now, since their guards in Beverly and Jackson just aren't good playmakers, where Jackson focuses on scoring and Beverly focuses on defense and shutting down opposing guards, but they have found their missing piece now in Rondo. Although Rondo doesn't score much, where he's only averaging 7.6 points a game with the Clippers, he really makes plays for the Clippers and directs traffic well if you watch the Clippers game. He is a true leader on the court and brings such a huge energy where he is extremely vocal to his teammates. Along with that, Rondo has so much experience as a veteran and was a major reason in why the Lakers won the championship last year. To further prove how much impact Rondo brings to the Clippers is after the Clippers acquired him, they went on to win so many more games where they won 8 straight games at one point which really shows his impact. Along with that, with the other players they had signed, they all bring depth to the team where Batum provides threes in defense and Batum has been shooting so well at 40% from through this year. Cousins has provided pay protection and some offense on an extremely cheap contract and Ibaka has finally returned from his back injury where he's just another solid center for the Clippers and basically does everything on the court and they have Kennard off the bench as well who has not been playing that well this year but still shooting 46% from 3. As a result, these signings have really made the Clippers strong with the departure of Lou Williams and Montrezl Hero and makes them a very solid overall team compared to the roster last year. Finally, the last reason why the Clippers could potentially win the 2021 NBA season is at the end of the day, no matter how much you hate them, the Clippers still have Kawhi Leonard and Paul George. Now I know most of you guys are going to say Paul George is going to choke again like he does every playoffs and this could happen, but with how deep their team is now, I think they could honestly cover for his faults and who knows, George was able to lead the Clippers when Kawhi is out for a couple games. Furthermore, 
I don't think I even need to say much about Kawhi Leonard since he is a finals MVP and is just an amazing player where he's still putting up 25 points, 6.5 rebounds, and 5.2 assists a game on 51% from the field. With the two amazing leaders in Kawhi and George, and to top it off, with them having a deep team and fixing their chemistry issues and being the underdog this year with something to prove, be sure to keep your eyes on the Clippers. But what do you guys think? Do you guys believe this is the year that the Clippers will break their curse or will it keep going? Let me know about all you guys thoughts in the comment section below and it is totally fine to disagree with me but just let me know what you think. Thank you guys so much for watching the video and if you made it this far, hit the like and subscribe button and other than that and until next time, AC3 out!